back, I'm Nikki and I make DIY wedding and lifestyle videos. Today I'll be showing you how to paint glasses for your home, your next party, or even your wedding. I did a lot of research and a lot of trial and error before creating these glasses and finding the perfect way to create them. They aren't perfect by any means, but they are such a fun way to customize your glassware. Before I get into the DIY, I need to give a little bit of a disclaimer. So much research went into this because it was really important to me to make sure that while we achieve the look we want, we're also being mindful of creating a food safe glassware. Since this technique actually is for usable glassware that people will eat and drink from, I think it's important that we keep in mind food safety within doing that so no one gets sick. For this project, we will be using food coloring and dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Obviously food coloring is food safe, but the Mod Podge doesn't technically specify that they are a food safe product. While it is water-based, non-toxic and dishwasher safe, it doesn't ever specify that. So we kind of have to just assume that it would be food safe. Since we are not 100% sure, I recommend not painting the inside of any of your glassware where food will touch it directly, but to paint outsides of your glassware and other dishes. But of course, use discretion for your own project and what you were using these for. So now that we have that out of the way, let's get into the DIY. We are going to start out with plain clean glasses. These are from the Dollar Tree. Our paint mixture, we will be using glossy dishwasher safe Mod Podge and food coloring. Link to this set of food coloring in the description of this video. You need about a tablespoon of Mod Podge per glass and may need to use some color theory to get your perfect color. These are the colors I used for the pink glass, for the green glass, and for the blue glasses. From here, you will just paint the outside of your glass, trying to avoid inconsistent texture on the glass. You will have some streaks once dried from the Mod Podge, but overall, it'll dry clear. Make sure to clean the edge or the inside of the glass if any glue got inside. Now let those sit for a few hours before touching them in order to let the paint dry. Then you'll have your customized painted glass for whatever event you need. Be sure to read the instructions on the back of your Mod Podge for how long to wait until your project is cured. I hope you love this DIY. I cannot speak on the longevity of how long this glass paint will last, for your glasses because I have yet to reach the 28 day for it to fully cure. I recommend just leaving them alone and waiting that time period before actually using them for food consumption. With that said, I hope you love this DIY. I feel like it opens a whole new world of customizing glassware and home decor. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and tell me what you wanna see from me in my next video.